Welcome back to Doom! We're playing Knee Deep in the Dead, and this will definitely be the conclusion. I'm going to play it through to the end, no matter how long it takes. We have the Cacodemon with the final sample down to one hit point. So if we get to go and we take him out, we get rid of him. I have a correction, of course I left notes. Our Marine should have one more damage than he has because he was stunned when the Imp attacked him. Instead of having eight hit points right now, he is now at seven hit points. And so without further ado, let's continue on. We're going to pull the next uh, initiative card uh, and it is the Invader. All right, so the Invaders get to go. Now they get a choice. They can either activate the Imps, which there are three of them, or they can activate the Cacodemon. I think we're going to activate the Cacodemon because he is adjacent to the Marine. Uh, which is a very good thing, because if we look at the Cacodemon's card, what it says here is Chomp. Before rolling any dice for an attack, if the defender is adjacent to you, replace two red dice with two black ones. So he's going to be rolling two black and one red. He's also going to spend the Plasma Tether, finally, which will stun the Marine after the attack. So you know what? I'm going to put that right on the board so I don't forget it this time. I forgot it last time. All right, Cacodemon. Two black dice. One red die. Attacking our Marine. And let's see what he's going to do for damage. That's not a bad hit at all. And did I forget to play cards? Well, of course I did. So you know what? In retrospectively, we're going to play this card. Uh, Reroll Demonic Precision. Reroll any number of dice. As well as Hellish Power. Add a black die. So we're going to add another black die. Jeez, I hate this. So that black die. Of course, we're going to be rolling three black die. And we don't have three. So I'm going to keep this as the black die. So this would be the next black die rolled with a one. So these are our three black dice, even though they're not black. Uh, we're going to get to re-roll any number of dice. We're going to keep this. We're going to obviously going to keep that. We're going to re-roll these two black dice. So let's keep the hits one, two, and three hits. So these are the two black dice we're going to re-roll. So there's five hits, and these two get re-rolled for three more. So a total of two, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. All right, uh, defense for our Marine. He does not have his armor. He pulls a card. He's only going to defend against one hit. Wait a second. Did he just get fragged? <laughs> Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Less one is seven. Our Marine gets fragged. So I guess he won't be stunned because he's fragged. So, oh my God. All right, and of course my battery's dying. Just perfect timing, but our Marine is now fragged. He is now off the board. The Cacodemon chomped him to, well, I guess to death, but he's going to respawn. But he won't be stunned, because I don't think you're stunned if you get fragged. All right, let me recharge the battery. Come right back and uh, continue the Cacodemon. He still has five movement as All well. All right, so by being fragged, of course, the Marine is removed from the uh, game board. All of his cards are going to get shuffled together. He's going to go back to full health, which will be 15 in this case. Um, and we're going to shuffle his, all the cards. He's going to draw up to four cards. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, basically it. And the demon player gets a frag token. All right, one of six. If he gets, uh, if he gets five more frag tokens, the invaders, demon player, will win the game. Yeah, right. All right, the four cards that our uh, marine has picked up is enthusiasm, spin up, up close and personal, double barrel blast. Looks like our playthrough is going to continue for a while longer. All right. Well, wow, that was a nice chomp by the cacodemon. What can I say? He still has five movement. Um, oh man, I think he's just going to go one, two, three, four, five, moving right back to this corner, cackling, demoning to himself, waiting for the Marine to show up while our imps try to take him down again. 
that's going to be the Cacodemon. Now, I'm pretty sure the Marine is not going to be stunned now because he's been totally fragged. Uh, but it didn't say that in the rule book specifically, so I'm going to rule that he's not. And that's going to be the end of the uh, turn, so let's see who's up next. And that's our Marine. Well, he just appears next to uh, one of these uh, teleporter points on it or adjacent. So he might as well show up. I guess that's adjacent to the teleporter point. And now he can play his cards. So he's got to get back in here. He's got to take out that Cacodemon. Oh, darn it. And I also forgot he drops the samples where he got fragged. He got fragged right here. So there's two of the samples on the ground. Of course, when he gets there, he can just pick them up. All right, so he's going to start off by playing Enthusiasm. He's going to have three movements. So we're going to put three on there. And then he's going to play... Uh, he's going to play, I guess, Up Close and Personal. Or no, he's going to play Spin Up. Draw two cards, giving him one more speed. So he's going to have four speed as he spins up his chain gun. I keep calling him a minigun, chain gun. He has a quick shot, and he has charge. So why doesn't he play charge? He gets two more movement, and he gets to draw a card. So he's up to six movement, up to six movement, and he gets to draw a card, which is spin up. Draw two cards, another movement. So seven, he has seven movement. He gets to draw two more cards, rip and tear. And Enthusiasm. Oh, this is pretty darn good. Enthusiasm, he's going to play that. Three more uh, movement. Uh, giving him a total movement now of ten. Ten movement. And he can... Oh, man, this is just getting ridiculous. Hasn't even played a major action yet. These are all sort of quick actions. He has up to ten movement. He will play Rip and Tear. Oh my god, five movements. And that's going to give him a total of 15 movement. Oh my lord, I think that is pretty damn awesome. 15 movement, and he has Rip and Tear. So he's got the chainsaw just a smoking. 15 movement, he's going to go one, two, and open this door. That's going to leave him 13 movement. He can uh, glory kill this guy just by mowing over top of him. So he has 13 movement left. So one, two, three. Glory kills the imp. Uh, that leaves him 10 movement. And of course, he gets a glory kill card for doing that. Which is, whenever you gain this card, recover two damage while he's at full health. Discard this card, draw two action cards. He'll do that right now. He's going to draw two more action cards. <laughs> two more action cards. And he gets quick shot and discharge. Okay, and discharge gives him, ooh, four speed. I like it. So does up close and personal. All right, well, hang on. He's already played one major. So he's just ripping along with the chainsaw. He hasn't even used the chainsaw for an attack, and he still has 10 movement left. I think he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, glory killing this guy <laughs> with the chainsaw. Holy man, getting another card. Killer Instinct. While re attacking, you may discard this card to reroll any number of dice. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, so he has two movement left. Two movement left, which is going to put him one, two. And unfortunately, he doesn't quite have the range, because this is a range one, so he can't use the rip and tear attack. But that was only his first activation oh my god now he has a second one ah uh, second one which he can use did he use any of the he used spin up he used charge once but i think he's going to use uh oh this is brutal i don't think we could have done that any other way he's going to use the 
double barrel blast or is he going to use oh man i think he's going to use the quick shots he's going to try quick shotting this guy uh see what he can do so there's only one of these guys left too <clears throat> wow if you kill all demons on the board uh there's no way i guess it's just game over he just walks around picks up the samples so let's see if there's any way he can kill all demons on the board i think that would be the win if he does up close and personal uh, if you perform this attack, let's do the double barrel blast. You may perform this attack one additional time. It has a range of three. So if he's here, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Damn it! He can't shoot at the two of them. Ah, damn. And this has range of four. Two red dice. Okay. Oh, what does he want to do? What does he want to do? I think... He's going to, uh, instead of, well, oh, damn it. One, two, instead of moving to there, I think he can stay here with his movement because I'm pretty sure that works. I don't think I've screwed it up. I think I moved one closer. So if I leave him here, then his quick shots have a range of four, one, two, three, four. He can shoot at the imp and his... Uh, if he uses double barrel blast range of three, he can shoot at the cacodemon twice. So we're going to do that. He's going to do double barrel blast, which means he has no more movement left. But if he can kill both of these demons, we're going to call it game over. Marines win. So one, two, three, shooting at the cacodemon, double barrel blast. He gets to perform this attack one additional time. It's going to be two black and one red. Let's see if he can take down the cacodemon. He gets a total of three hits, and the Cacodemon for defense, pulls a defense card, has absolutely nothing, blows the Cacodemon away, which is going to drop the sample. Um, all right. Spins around. He has now two quick shots. Can he take down the Imp? Let's find out. Quick shot number one. He's going to play them both. They get each get two red dice to attack with. Come on, let's destroy the imp. All right, first quick shot, four hits. And the defense is one defense. So, wow, with the one quick shot, he does three damage to the imp, blowing him away. And <laughs> there's no demons left on the board. Holy man. All right, well, I'm going to call that the end of the series because uh, there's no demons left. They cannot spawn any more in. So it would be our initiative of our uh, Marine next. He would just go and collect the samples and it's game over. All right, well, that was the first scenario from uh, the new Doom game uh, from 2016, Operation Black Bishop. And this was knee deep in the dead. And I, yeah, and it is an unbalanced scenario, but it was still fun anyway. And I apologize profusely again and again and again for messing up a bunch of stuff during this playthrough. Uh, but I hope it was at least somewhat enjoyable and gave you an idea of how the game plays. I will be doing more scenarios in the future. Uh, but I do find this game kind of brain fiddly with a lot of things to keep track of especially when you're playing it by yourself like i am here in my channel but i hope i have enough notes up to catch the errors and i hope you could read the comments which probably have caught other errors that i've missed through my editing so once again i hope you enjoyed it our solo marine absolutely kicked the living butt of the demon player in this scenario but like i said in other scenarios in the game there are much more of a of a better balance from what I hear. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your subscriptions, your comments, your likes. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this and join me next time uh, for I really don't know what I will be looking on my shelf, my board game collection, to figure out what to play next. So thanks once again so much to everyone for watching along and we'll see you in the next series.